Let me show you how it works on the diagram for those of you who are like, what are they doing? It's easy. We're going to show you. I always beta test things first before I introduce it to the masses. Here's what you have to know. And we're going to get out of here because I got a uh, call coming up. You and your prospect, they trust you, but they don't respect you because y'all are friends. We already talked about that. So that's why it's hard to get your friends to see something. It ain't nothing personal. They just know about your whole life story. So they ain't really trying to jump on those Zoom just because you excited. But to strangers, the prospect and the expert that you spoke highly of, two strangers can do business better than two friends. Thumbs up if I'm making sense, right? So you have to edify, this is you, you got to speak highly about a total, total stranger, which is one of us, so that me and the prospect can set the appointment. Me and the prospect can do a Q&A session. Me and the prospect can talk about the overview. New people, you need to move and let each of us text thread your people. But what we can't do is bring the people to the text thread. Your job is to peek, get them to the thread. Our job is to set the appointment and, and navigate through it from there. Not all the way through, but you, we set the appointment, you remind us of the follow-up. We set the appointment, you text us back for the Q&A. Like, I got too many people to be worrying about, I got an 815, I got an 845, I got, no, nah, everybody knows, y'all need to know this working with me. Just text me a 30 minute reminder. Hey, Brian, don't forget, we on tonight at 945, I got you. Or, real quick, give me to 10 o'clock. You know, it's just, it's just, I work in 15, 30 minute windows, it's no problem. So just give me a reminder, hey, Brian, don't forget, we got so-and-so live on a uh, quick call, or so-and-so did what you said and saw the presentation, they ready. You see what I'm saying? So-and-so should add to the text. Hey guys, I just saw the presentation. What you're doing is you're making them part of a group. People like to be part of a winning team. Hey, I just saw the presentation. I'm excited. What do I need to do? Okay, cool. Now I got their phone number because we've been in the text message. You see? So ideally, they get in two, three ways. A three-way to introduce them to the presentation and a three-way to close them and answer any questions for them. Ideally. But after a while, you'll get so good. After you do a few of these, you will see how to close them out and how to invite them. I just want you to put the new person hat on and know that you're not supposed to be inviting your own people and you're not supposed to be closing your own people. New people, I'm telling you, you're not supposed to be inviting your own people to the Zoom and you're not supposed to be closing your own people. The triangle demands that a stranger invite your people on your behalf to see this business. Now, I'm going to tell you something. What makes this whole thing work is the edification that you did on that phone before you tie us into this text. I can always tell if I ain't been edified real good. Because when I get on the phone, hey, yeah, yeah, what, what's going on? I'm, I'm a little busy, but I, I can listen for a minute. Shit me. I know good and well you wouldn't say that to Oprah. I know good and well you wouldn't say that to Michael Jordan. I know good and well you wouldn't tell LeBron that you, you got a minute. What's up? Y'all see what I'm saying? You see, the, the level in which you edify determines how well this works. If you call me B, A, B, this Steve, Steve, this B, whoo, you just lost some swag. It ain't no ego thing. I'm just telling you, you just brought me back down to like below them. I don't call Dion. Hey, look, it ain't Brian Bean. Don't misunderstand this. If I'm on the phone with Dion and I'm introducing Dion to Anthony, I don't say, yo, Ant-Man. Ant-Man, this D, D, this Ant-Man. We, we just killed the whole edification thing. Edification means to keep your expert on that pedestal. Why do you think this script demands that we use a celebrity name? I'll show you down here. All right. So when you edify, remember, the text approach is your prospect's first exposure to cash flow expansion and income shifting. Did I say making money? No. Did I say to a business opportunity? No. I said the three-way text 
I'm gonna add the word threat, is the first exposure to cash flow expansion and income shipping. It's the text that you gonna pull us into. You ain't gotta say nothing. I already know when it pop up, I know what you're trying to, you ain't gotta say nothing. Well, you just gotta give me the person's name. I already know what you're doing when it pop up and you better have already edified. Does that make sense? Thumbs up, that makes sense, right? Number two, why? The most difficult part of the business, of building a business is getting your prospects to see it. Three-way texts and calls are necessary to introduce the concept of a team effort instead of an individual convincing. So now what you're doing is you're bringing them into the team. Number three, how do you edify? Guys, you gotta get this and we done. You edify using the four personalities. A prospect is going to be one of four personalities. This is important. So when you're talking to a person, they're either a winter, a spring, a summer, or a fall. That, these are dominant personality types in business, right? Some people call them red, green, blue, yellow. I heard in corporate America, they use the color spectrum. Some people call it shark, urchin, whale, dolphin. Here we call it winter, spring, summer, fall. A winter is money driven. A spring loves to help people. A summer loves having fun and a fall has to know all the facts. Winter, spring, summer, fall. And if you think about it, it kind of, the, 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 um, the um, season kind of fits. Like winter people are real cold. They like, look, what's the, what's the bottom line? I ain't got all day. I need to know what the comp plan look like. You know what I'm saying? That's a winter. Spring, you think about spring, the flowers, everything is blossoming. Spring people want to save the whales, the silverback gorillas, don't hurt the dolphins. You need to adopt a pet. Those are springs, <laughs> okay? Those are spring people. Everything's just beautiful and oh my God, God is good and um, uh, love your fellow man and we need to stop the madness. Those are spring people. Summer people, think about the beach, bright colors, swimming trunks, bikinis. Hey, what y'all doing after the meeting? You know, let's go have a drink, Brian. I I'll meet you, man. Let's meet the bar. Bro, I can't talk to you about no business at no bar. Those are my summer people. They love fun. Hey man, when is Game Changer, man? When y'all when y'all get back together live at Game Changer? I saw y'all doing that line dancing. All right, man. So when is COVID over, we're gonna line dance. You know what I'm saying? So summers are only in it for the fun. They want to know the social aspect of the business. And falls, oh my goodness, my fall people. How long y'all been in business? Brian, when your birthday? What's the founder sign? Where is it based? Explain the comp plan. I don't understand what you mean by this. God bless them, but those are my falls. Your falls want to know everything, including your blood type. So if you know that four types of personality exist, you got to sprinkle all four personalities into your expert. See, the problem with a lot of you guys you talking money talk to a spring person. Y'all see the difference? You can't talk fun talk to a whale. You can't talk help talk to a fall. But what we tend to do is we tend to talk in the language that we like the most because each of us is one of these two. Guys, I went to a three-day seminar on this. I, I, I took the test, but it's a three-day event. It took me all Friday, all Saturday, all Sunday, and they make you reach into a bowl, and you got to sit at the table with all springs for three hours and get to know them. Then we switch, and you got to sit with all summers and do exercise. Three hours. Then we switch and come back. You got to do exercise with all winters. I'm like, I got it. This is what people need. If you talk to a person in their language, you're going to win. If you talk to a person in your language, you better hope you're talking to somebody like you and that ain't everybody. Thumbs up if I'm making sense. So you must sprinkle all four personalities in to your process, I mean your expert.
you can't just talk money. You can't just talk facts. You can't just talk fun and you can't just talk helping people, which is why we use the following phrases. Hey, Tiffany, I got to get you on the phone with my boy, Anthony. I mean, my mentor. See, I slipped. My mentor, Anthony. Listen, Anthony is positioned to cash flow five to seven figures easily. He or she is Anthony's helping tons of people get double digit returns. See, I'm, see I'm, I'm lacing it all in, right? What I like about him, he's having fun teaching people the rules of the wealthy. And he can answer all your questions about income shifting. So guys, these statements, after a while, they'll roll off your tongue, right? So let me do the nine script. Hey, listen, Tiffany, you have to meet my mentor, Anthony. When I tell you there's not a funner, a person having more fun teaching this whole income shifting concept, so he can answer all your questions and show you how to get the double digit returns. He'll teach you about land banking and private banking and all that good stuff. What I really like about him, even though he's cash flowing or he's positioned to cash flow five to seven figures, he doesn't mind helping a whole bunch of people learn the exact same thing. See, after a while, it'll just flow. I'm giving you all the sentences to borrow from. Thumbs up if that makes sense. Don't ever try to script. Just borrow, just especially the underlying words is what I'm trying to show you, okay? Just make sure you mention these. Rules of the wealthy, income shifting, cash flow, double digit returns. Lace that stuff in and tie them in with helping, fun, details, and money. Now, here is what Macon said that you gotta get. This is why he bring me a lot of people. He or she is like the blank celebrity of our group when it comes to getting your money back from the big three. Please put this in your notes. You have to name drop a celebrity. You have to name drop a celebrity. You can mess up the winter, spring, summer, fall. You can mess up the flow, if you say, let me just get you on the phone with the Oprah Winfrey of our team. Cool, let me talk to her. That iconic status is enough for me. Let me just get you on the phone with the Michael Jordan of the business. Let me just get you on the phone with, the, you see what I'm saying? With the, the, the Barack Obama of our organization. Let me just get you on the phone with the um, Michael Jackson of our area. You have to drop a celebrity in there That'll cover up any mistakes you make. Thumbs up, makes sense. Tie that celebrity in there, guys. If you're talking to a young lady, pick a young lady celebrity. Everybody love Oprah, right? Or people look up to Oprah, I don't care, Beyonce, whatever. But it's gotta be an icon now. It gotta be an icon. You can't be talking about, I don't wanna disrespect nobody, but you, it gotta be an icon. So, we're gonna peak, we're gonna edify, and we're gonna pull them into a three-way thread. We're gonna peak, we're gonna edify, and we're gonna pull them into a three-way thread. Once you pull them in a three-way thread, I got you. Don't worry about it. And if I don't reply within 15 minutes, don't worry about it. The reason for you pulling me into the thread was so when we all get together, we can respond. That's the purpose of it. Don't think that if you pull me into a thread, y'all know I'm, I'm busy as well. So. I got the thread. I'm going to reply as soon as I get it. You know what I mean? So the reason for the thread was to start dialogue. Does that make sense? Don't panic if you're, let's say, let's say Billy tried to get in touch with Anthony and Anthony got a prospect. Don't panic if he don't reply right away. People got jobs, kids, virtual learning, all kinds of stuff. But the thread was designed just to bring attention to the conversation. Does that make sense? Very good. Last thing, and I'm open up for questions and we are out. Step one, make the expert relatable using the four personality types. Step two, introduce the prospect to the expert via three-way text thread. Step three, the expert will use alternative choices to schedule a call. That's it. On that call, we're going to make an appointment with that person. That expert is going to get them to the website. That expert is going to get them to the Zoom you host them. That expert is going to get them to this Saturday social event. That expert is going to get them to this Wednesday night. Your job was to pull the thread together 
The expert's job was to set the appointment and then y'all get on the phone so the expert can schedule the next step or get them to the next step. Does that make sense? New people, you ain't doing nothing but peeking and pulling them into the three-way campaign, the three-way text message. That's all you're doing. You can peek using the phrases on the sheet of paper here. You can peek using our text message scripts, our screenshots on howtoshipyourincome.com backslash members, howtoshipyourincome.com under our members link. We've got screenshots you can peek people with. We don't care how you peek them. You can peek them with these questions. Long as you peek them and pull them into a thread. That's it. Last number four, guys, relax. Relax. Keep the business fun. Don't make it all tight. Relax. The pressure is on EDM to educate your prospect, not you. The pressure is on us. People say, Brian, I'm, I'm just nervous about this. What you nervous about? You, you ain't doing nothing but peeking them and, and introducing them to somebody that you highly respect. I got the hard part, answering your crazy questions, making them see it's not a scam, showing them that it's real, teaching them about tax. I got the hard part. You need to relax. Everybody understand. I need you to have your new QFDs. Tell them to relax. And they, they make everything so big. Well, now, what if this? What if that? And what, what if nine times out of 10 don't even happen? That's all in your mind. Pull them into the thread and come on, quit playing and let me do this. Write this in your notes, write this in your notes, guys. I got it from here, okay? I got it from here. When your people bring you somebody, you got it from there. You way more experienced than the prospect, trust me. Y'all got more knowledge in one month of EDM than people get in school, I'm telling you. They don't know nothing about income shifting. They don't know how to lower their taxes in a home-based business. They're not teaching that. They don't know how that a company can fix their whole credit score and get all that illegal stuff removed. They don't know what land banking is. They don't know what a PRA account is. So, so stop thinking your prospect got way more knowledge and you giving them all this reverence. No. Pull them into the thread and we got it. Pull them into the thread and we got it. Teresa, what's up? <laughs> you might be. Hi, Brian. How you feel? Good. You ready to do this? I am, yes. All right, I hope all y'all are ready. What's up, Joshua down there, Mr. Hammett? I want you guys to understand something. Get out your own way and pull them into the thread. But we got to do a better job of exposing the masses to it in a way that they can get it quicker and we can reach more people. The number one game is exposure. And I really want y'all to understand that. 